A goblin army? What? That's out of control. What is going on here, people? No, I'm trying to fight a boss. Don't you give me goblin armies. Oh. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert modded mage let's play. And guys, I'm excited to get back into the action today. We are straight into an Eye of Cthulhu fight. I was doing a little bit of farming at the end of last episode, fighting some zombies, getting some lenses, and there are zombies with Daisy. Get out! I'm trying to find a boss here, you crazy things. Oh my goodness, alright. Let's try our new storm spray weapon. No! No, 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 no. There we go. We got our new storm spray weapon from the Desert Scourge last episode, so that will help clear off a few of these remaining zombies. Oh my goodness, get out of here! I want to get the battle underway. Alright, we're all good now. Because we beat the Desert Scourge, I've got two more life crystals ready to use. I think I've got like 13 in my base, but I'm doing the life challenge where each boss is worth two life crystals. I kind of like that. It stops you from getting overpowered too early on in your adventure. But guys, we've got a lot coming up today. We're doing a bit of a boss rush. I also want to try and take on the Brain of Cthulhu, which will be kind of exciting. And I think it's going to be a tough battle, but we do have some really nice weapons to use here. So just getting on another mana potion there. Okay, beautiful. Doing some good damage. Alright, that magic stuff is very important to also use because it does apply a lot of debuffs and a few of you were telling me in the comments that if I can get uh, a piece of amber. Okay, it's transforming. Oh my goodness, there's little servants of Cthulhu's everywhere. Uh, yeah, you guys told me in the comments, if I get a bit of amber, uh, I can actually modify it again to also have uh, a, like an I-Core debuff, which is incredible. Can you imagine how powerful that is at this stage of the game? So, yeah, definitely want to get my hands on that if I can. All right, throwing on another mana potion here. Just jump in the Cthulhu. I think he's going to start charging any moment now, so that's a little bit scary. Luckily, we've got a few clouds in the bottle, so I'm fairly mobile, but uh, no Shield of Cthulhu yet, which a lot of you know is one of my favorite items, so yeah, We'll just try our best here. Okay, beautiful. Alright, he's doing a charge. No, 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 no. Please, no hit me. Actually, I should probably focus the remaining uh, servants of Cthulhu. Get rid of those. There's so many! Get out of here! <gasps> is it? Oh, one of those little things had executioner. I'm like, yeah, we need to get rid of that um, because that is a bit scary. Alright, beautiful. Let's get away from him here. Throwing on another mana potion. We're doing okay so far, but uh, the end of the fight is when this gets scary. Oh, goodness. Okay, it's starting already, guys. It's starting already. Alright, there we go. Getting our magic stuff back on there. Throwing on another mana potion! No! <laughs> I couldn't dodge. Oh, no! That's okay. Let's put some distance on it here. All right, it's under a 1,000 hit points. We can do this, people. Oh, goodness. I've still got my potion charge. Oh, my gosh! Can these things die already? All right, we got them. Finally, it's under control. All right, taking... A little bit of damage now. Let's use our storm spray here. Actually, that's working pretty nicely. All right, let's try and hit it with the magic staff, and then I'll just spam it because it is an auto cast weapon. So that's kind of good. All right, it's down to 400. I think we can do this. We just need to spam. All right, throwing another mana potion. Oh goodness! Here comes the fun, people. Here comes the fun. No! Oh goodness! Don't no, stay away from me. I need mana. I need mana. I need a mana flower. Oh no! 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 Throwing on a heal. Oh goodness! No! Yes! We got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that got a bit crazy at the end there. Oh, I definitely need to expand my mana. In fact, I've got some fallen stars here, as a lot of you face palm and say, why didn't you use those before the fight? Oh, goodness. Well, hey, it worked out in the end, guys. That's what it's all about. So let's open our treasure bag. Are you ready, guys? Three, two, one, boom. Shield of Cthulhu. Oh, what am I going to swap it with? Oh, maybe the Band of Region. I guess we can live without that. Oh, Cthulhu Dash, I love you so much. Okay, let's wait for morning, guys, and plan the next step of our adventure. Uh, no thank you, Mr. Crazy uh, UFO. What on earth is going on here? So I was going for a look for some resources, and it looks like I have found a meteorite, and that's actually kind of cool, apart from the whole me UFO trying to kill me thing. Oh my goodness, can this die? Ah, no, 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 no! Okay, no! Oh, it was so low! The meteorite! Yep, nice. UFO, out of control. That is fine. I don't think there's one around at the moment. That is not... Oh, goodness, no! Oh, Cthulhu, don't dash in there! Okay, it's under control, people. We need some platforms. So I was going out looking for some resources uh, to build a bit of our base and also, you know, get started on our dungeon uh, trophy gallery. 
But uh, I stumbled across this lovely little meteor. So what we're going to do, let's drop a few bombs in, and then I can also make some sticky bombs as well. So our goal here is to get rid of as much meteor ore as possible. Meteorite ore. So all of these crazy meteorite enemies stop spawning. All right, let's get lots of nice sticky bombs. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Let's get these things back. Nice. All right, so we just got to jump in. Oh, I should get some platforms ready. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, this is going to work, people. This is going to work like a treat. Okay, beautiful. As long as that UFO doesn't come back, it is all under control. No, it's there. I can hear it. Okay, that's fine. Just keep throwing sticky bombs, Raven. You can do this. Ah, oh, no. Stay away from me. Stay back, you crazy mobs. Oh! Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. Sticky bomb there and sticky bombs there. Oh, no. I threw one on the platform. No! <laughs> okay, it's all under control. Oh, I really need to make an obsidian shield. That would help out a lot. Okay, my hit points are getting a little bit low, but I think we're going to be all right. Oh, gosh. So, I was thinking it might be nice to make some meteor armor as well uh, for a bit of an armor boost. Oh, goodness. Um, but also for extra magic damage. So, I'll get the rest of this meteor ore, and then let's continue our adventure. Ah, oh, it's a nice new day in Raven's World, and I've gotten lots of resources ready to start construction on our base, and let's harvest up some of our day bloom that is all over the place at the moment. Oh my goodness, I think I just killed way too many seeds, but I have so many, it's getting out of control. Oh goodness, there we go. All the day bloom is down now. Because we now have some meteorite ore, where's my meteorite ore? There it is, okay, beautiful. We can actually make some meteorite armor, which is going to be incredible, and there's also also, a super secret thing that I realized I can craft because of mods, and I'll show you that in just a moment. Ooh, Meteor Head stuff. Okay, so let's get the Meteor Suit. I hope I've got enough bars for it. <laughs> we'll find out in just a moment, I suppose. All right, so I've got all that. Mmm, I could make the Ham Axe as well. Now, you guys know I don't like to use the Space Gun. It's a little bit OP for my taste, but um, hey, I mean, if you use it, power to you, but yeah, uh, I, I think it's a little bit out of control. But there is one thing we can build, and I'm really excited to make it. And it involves Crimtain bars. So we beat Eye of Cthulhu. We got some Crimtain ore. So let's make 21 Crimtain bars. Now, guys, I didn't realize I could make this, but if we come down here, check it out. Oh, wow. I can make wings as well. Cool. We'll look at that in a moment. Crimson Rod. I can actually craft one. That is amazing. I can make a Crimson Rod. Yes. That is so good. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be like Stacy series where we've got like a million weapons in a hopper. Let's make a wing skeleton and let's actually see what we need to do to actually make some wings nice and early on. All right. Let's put these here. All right. How do I make wings? Uh, Crimson. Uh, all right. So I need to beat Brain of Cthulhu. Uh, let's see, Hellstone. Ooh, I could make Hellstone wings. Honey wings. Oh, there's so many wings I could make now. 15. Oh, I can make wings. Oh, that's awesome. And they've got warding. Wow. Oh, so I've got like tons of bottles and wings now. Oh, goodness. Is that out of control? All right, let's see. Uh, uh, and I can fly a little bit. Whoa. Well, seeing we're so powered up now, I kind of want to fight Brain of Cthulhu. And then I can even make more wings. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. We've got to do it. Bunny, don't. Don't run into the crimson cloud. Don't do it. It's going to die. It's going to die. No, Bunny. Oh, let's go to the crimson. We are making our way back into the crimson with our new powerful wings and our new powerful crimson rod. Oh, my goodness. Blood Creeper. Stay away from me. It's a spitter one. Oh, no. It's a splitter. I'm like, don't you spit at me. Oh, no. Now there's more of them. That's okay. This is all under control, people. It's all under control because we are pretty powered up now, which is very nice indeed. Now, if I remember last time we were down here, I busted up a few of the Crimson Hearts trying to get a Crimson Rod, so we do need to be careful. Oh, there's some Aerolite Ore as well. I wonder if I can actually blow that up. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I meant to use a sticky bomb. Oh, that's okay. It's going to land on it anyway. No. No, no, no blowing that up for Happy. That is fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some platforms down, guys. I also brought my two life crystals because we defeated uh, Br Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, so we're up to 220 health now, which is very nice. So what I'm probably going to do, it's, you know, you don't need much of an arena for Brain of Cthulhu. Uh, it's mostly about dodging during the battle, really. So we're just going to put down a few platforms. I'll put down a campfire or two, and then we will get the battle underway. Let's zoom ahead, people. Oh, really, Slimes? Really? You want to fight the boss too, do you? Oh, my goodness. Get out of here, you crazy blobs. No, don't hit me before a boss fight. Oh, 
So we have our arena ready for action, people. And we have got a little area here. So I just bombed down a little bit. And I thought, okay, all we need to do is put down one. And then a second sticky bomb, we should be good to go. Now let's see if I actually remember to come back and get this loot at the end of the fight. I always forget. Like, always. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, buffs on. Here we go, people. Whoa. Okay, and those eyeballs are everywhere. Let's get our new Crimson Rod into the action here. Okay, Brain of Cthulhu doing a lot of damage to me. Oh my gosh, but we have a lot of piercing weapons, so I am kind of confident in that perspective too. So that is, you know, so we're going to take a lot of damage, but we're going to deal a lot of damage, um, which is kind of cool. All right, throwing on a Mana Potion. We're doing pretty nicely, actually. We're dealing uh, a fair bit of damage to these uh, little eyeball things. What are they? Creepers, that's right. Okay, yeah, very nice. And they all drop hearts, I'm pretty sure, or at least most of them drop hearts. So, yeah, that keeps me healed pretty nicely. There we go. Beautiful. Getting some extra hits in there. Just got to remember to use my Mana Potions when I run out. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. All right, throwing on another Mana Potion. I really should make the... Uh, the greater mana potions or just the normal ones. Uh, I think I just need to add a glowing mushroom to them and I can get the 100 uh, heal ones, which would be pretty nice indeed. A goblin army? What? That's out of control. What is going on here, people? No, I'm trying to fight a boss. Don't give me goblin armies. Oh! All right, so I need to get another crimson rod up there. Beautiful. That should help deal a bit of damage. Although it doesn't look like crimson rod does the knockback thing. Does it do knockback? No! Okay, that's a little bit scary. That's alright. We'll try and hit it with our beautiful magic staff. There we go. Very nice. Throwing on another mana potion. Oh, good. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a crazy part of the fight. And there's goblins here. No! I don't want goblins. No, 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 no. Alright, hit it again with the magic staff. Oh, gosh. Alright, beautiful. Alright, taken out. Brain of Cthulhu. Oh, oh, treasure bag, yay. <laughs> and we have goblins as well. Oh no, this is out of control, people. All right, well, let's open up our treasure first. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, boom. Okay, so yeah, I just got the brain of confusion. Got a lot of tissue samples. Whoa, so much. Oh, that is out of control. In expert mode, they drop so much. And look, guys, I actually remembered. Oh, we got a crimson rod. Yeah, that'd be right. Oh. All right, let's get back to base and fight these goblins. Goblins! Goblins, get out of my house! Oh my goodness, you crazy goblins! Oh wow, look how many are getting confused! Oh, the magic stuff is gonna destroy them! Oh, this is amazing! Oh no, get out! Don't kill the chef! Don't kill the chef! Oh no, I need mana! I need mana! Okay, he's throwing plates. I'm throwing like magic bolts everywhere. This is all under control. Maybe I should get out of the house. That might help. Oh, oh no, I should have shut the door. Does it, no? Can goblins open doors? I think they can. Okay, we just need to get away from. From the crazy goblins. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Let's go to my beautiful majestic arena. Gordon! No, Gordon! Oh, is that like Gordon, like Gordon Ramsay, the chef? Oh, no, Gordon. Oh, it's okay. I will avenge you with goblin fury. It's all under control as I take out this big warrior goblin. Oh, man. So I don't know if there's actually any good uh, magic drops. I know there's the new summoner drop you can get from Goblin Invasion. Or is that from the summoners in hard mode? I can't remember. I'm getting confused. And I'm on fire or something. I've got Frostburn on fire. How does that even work? I hit, the, I hit them. They didn't hit me. Oh... Okay, but it's all under control. I just noticed that my percentage is on zero. What on earth is going on with that? Oh, no. Oh, it could be a team mod loader thing, guys. I don't even know. But uh, does that mean I have to fight the goblins forever? Oh, goodness. Anyway, guys, looking at the time, we'll start to wrap that up there for today. So smash that like button if you're enjoying our Raven series. We've got our new Alex the World Builder series returning within the next day or so, as well as Stacy, who is just about towards the end of her series, which is kind of exciting because that means it's time to vote for what our next main series is going to be. I'm so pumped. I can't wait to see what you guys want to see next. Anyway, guys, leave your tips and tricks in the suggestions below. We will be building Raven's base next episode, which I'm totally pumped about. And he's the most important part, as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, Fighting Goblins Forever, signing out. See ya!